Hi guys, today I want to show you uh, the deep learning AMI and how to quickly get started with deep learning on AWS. So the deep learning AMI is an Amazon maintained image that includes all the libraries and tools that you need to start building your deep learning projects. So uh, it includes uh, the popular uh, deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow, Theano, MXNet, and Cafe and more. It includes uh, additional tools like the Anaconda distribution and also um, everything that you need to run code on uh, on GPUs, the NVIDIA drivers, etc. And, you know, they can be pretty tricky to set up. So with this AMI, all you have to do is fire up an instance, uh, wait for a few minutes and just get to work. OK, and as a matter of fact, as you can see here on our uh, on our uh, website, uh, the CMI has just been updated just 10 days ago with the, all the latest versions. OK, so uh, let's start one. So it's an AMI, right? So just go to the um, to the AWS console. Uh, just pay attention to the regions where uh, the AMI is available. So it's available uh, in the US and in Ireland. So let's just uh, let's just start an instance in Oregon for a change. Okay. So just click on the launch instance button. Go to the AWS Marketplace. Look for the deep learning AMI. And there's an Amazon Linux version and an Ubuntu version. So let's start an Ubuntu version. Okay, here it is. Just select it. Um, using the CMI is, uh, is free of charge. You only pay for the instance costs, okay? So um, you can actually run that deep learning AMI on a CPU-based instance. Um, for example, you know, MXNet and all, you know, other frameworks will run just fine on CPU. Um, training models will be a little slower, obviously, uh, than on, on GPUs, but that definitely works, okay? Uh, of course, you know, we want to play with the GPUs, so we recommend using uh, something in the G2 family or in the P2 family. Okay, just just make sure you're uh, you're familiar with the costs here. Okay, the the G2 2 XL, uh, which I'm going to use, is actually reasonably cheap. Uh, but if you want to go, you know, go big and play with a P2 16 XL, just make sure you understand what the costs are. Okay, so let's select that one. Okay, we could set all those parameters like uh, another instance, but okay, we, we don't need to do that. We don't need to add storage. We are more than we need. Uh, we could add a tag here. Okay, security group. So SSH obviously is useful. If you want to use uh, Jupyter notebooks and, and tools like this, of course, you would have to add uh, the appropriate port uh, for uh, for the, that tool. Okay, just let's review that and launch it. Okay, and as we can see here, the fees for uh, the the AMI are zero. Okay. All right, keep there and launch it. Okay, and it's going to launch like any other AMI. So I, I've done this before. You know, we don't want to wait for a few minutes to that for that instance to, to come up. So let's just go back to the C2 console. And I've got an instance running already. Okay, exactly the same uh, J2 to Excel. So let's just grab, okay, that one. Um, let's just grab the domain name and we can connect with SSH okay so this is an Ubuntu based AMI so okay you have to use the uh, the Ubuntu user uh, don't try the EC2 user that's only for Amazon Linux and so we should connect yep um, so what do we have here well we have a whole bunch of tools like I said Okay, I can see Anaconda and Cafe. 
and uh, and Keras and MXNet, TensorFlow, Theano, Torch, etc. And actually, you have all the sources for those. So uh, if you want to pull from their uh, uh, GitHub repo and rebuild, uh, you can do that. Okay. So um, this is a GPU instance. So I should be able to see some GPUs here. Yeah. There's only one on this instance. Okay, but it's good for dev. And, uh, and not really expensive, so good choice, I guess. So let's go to, um, um, yeah, let's see if uh, MXNet is actually installed. So let's just import it. That seems to work. Check what the version is. OK, 0 0.10, which is the latest version. OK, so as you can see, everything is already in there. No need to um, uh, no need to mess with the configuration. Just get to work, okay? So let's train something here. So let's do something like going to the example directory and image classification. And as you know, probably there are a whole bunch of examples in here using ImageNet and MNIST and Cypher 10, etc., which are really, really great to read because you're going to learn how to build and train MXNet models. Uh, so let's just do a, a real quick training on MNIST, okay? So I'm going to use Python, and I'm going to run that script here. And of course, I want to do this on a GPU, right? So there are a whole bunch of uh, command line options for those training uh, scripts. So you'll find them in the source. Just just read them. Uh, and so the GPUs flag is going to train on GPUs, obviously. So here, as you can see, I'm downloading the data set. And off it goes, training pretty fast. Uh, and I think this is going for 20 epochs. Let's, let's see here. Right, so as you can see, it's all in there. Uh, just fire up the AMI. And, and get to work. And you know we will provide updated versions of the MI whenever uh, something new shows up. But uh, this is a great time saver for you guys. All right. Uh, well, that's it. Uh, just uh, in less than a minute, you know, I, I fired up that instance and uh, and I was able to train um, that deep learning model on MNIST uh, with decent uh, validation accuracy. And I could obviously use it to use it to predict. Um, uh, with my own images. Okay, so again, this was just a short video just to show you how easy it is to fire up the deep learning AMI. Um, if you want to learn more about uh, MXNet, uh, you can go to my uh, medium.com page where uh, I published a number of MXNet uh, articles which uh, seem to be quite popular. So thanks everybody for, for reading them. And, uh, and I guess they're a good way to get started with MXNet and, and deep learning, okay? Uh, feel free to get in touch if you have questions. Uh, I hope uh, this was informative and uh, see you next time.